Welcome to Raven Silver. Please hit the notification bell, subscribe to this channel. This way you know when I'm doing updates on stories I've done. Welcome to Hey! What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody getting it for you? What's going on, people? Okay, this is a story about Leyland Kubelet Palancho. Forgive me, I'm butchering her name. Now, she's a trans woman that was discovered at reference to transgender inmate found dead in Rockers Island cell. And this story is being reported as of June 7, 2019. Now, a transgender inmate was found dead in a shell cell on Rikers Island on Friday afternoon. Law enforcement sources told the post that the inmate was found unresponsive. Un in her cell at the Rose M. Singer Women's Facility at the Notorious Jail at 2.40 p.m. The directions of correction said medics responded and tried to retrieve her for about an hour before she was declared dead. The DOC said any death in our custody is a loss and we're looking how this happened a DOC spokesperson said <sighs> this is a very young girl and it happened in Rackets Island New York City Home of a correction, Rikers Island, the home of New York City's boldest Department of Correction. And she was found in the jail cell in Rikers Island on Friday. Law enforcement told um, that the inmate was found unresponsive in her cell at the Rose M. Singer's Women Facility, a notorious jail. So she was in a women's facility at the Notorious Jail. At 2.40 p.m., the Department of Corrections said medics responded and tried to retrieve her for about an hour before she was declared dead at DOC. Said of death in our custody is a tragic loss and we're looking into the happenings of the DOC spokesperson said. Now, I don't know if you know about this, but I want to share something with you about Rockets Island. There's been a lawsuit guard at Rockets Island allowed to array inmates with consent from the city officials said, and this is allegedly. Now, according to the lawsuit filed in 2015, the city of New York has helped enable an ongoing abuse and rape of several females in rape at inmates at an all-female Rose M. Singer Center in Rikers Prison, two women behind a lawsuit who wished to remain anonymous said that they were both raped on multiple occasions by the same correction officer, Benny Santico. The lawsuit also says that the eight others correction officers were involved in the raping of women in prison on a regular basis and in case one of the inmates even got pregnant, allegedly. The plaintiff represented by the Legal Aid Society seeks damages for Santiago as well as the overhaul Department of Correction facility in order to break what they call cultural of systematic rape. Santiago abused the two women in unrestricted areas that they were monitored they were not monitored by the security cameras and would wait until after center captains had made their supervisory rounds, which were made at the same time every day, the complaint said after reporting the assault of the staff of the prison, one of the uh, plaintiffs who told that had nothing could be done about the attacks and abuse is only possible because of the fact that repeat. Repeated warnings the city of New York is able to culture as far as complicity and perpetrate at Rikers Island. Therefore, the consent of abuse of women on this custody and the lawsuit at the Rose 
M. Singer Center at Rikers was listed as the worst prison for sexual assault in 2012. The Department of Justice surveys, according to the survey, 5.9 of female inmates at Rikers reported that they were sexually assaulted by the prison staff. Sexual violence is a record. Um, proportion of DOC and rapes of other sexual abuse on women and epidemic at the Rose M. Singer Center. Seymour J. Seymour W. James, the attorney of chief of the Legal Aid Society, told CNN. So here it is, a beautiful girl. See, I'm responsive. She's in a facility that this story has been reported as of 2015, according to the lawsuit, filed in 2015. The women that was raped don't even want to be identified. They want to go anonymous. They want to remain anonymous in their lawsuit. Here is a woman, June the 7th, 2019. In a women facility, trans woman, Laileen, was found dead in her cell in Rikers Island on Friday afternoon. Law enforcement sources told the post the inmates was found unresponsive in her cell in Rose M. Singer Women Facility at the Notorious Jail at 2.40 p.m., the correction officer said. So now, due to the fact that they have a lawsuit, it makes it more questionable to me. What happened to her? Was she raped? Was she beaten and raped? They need a full FBI investigation on this place. Because basically back in 2015, which was four years ago, I don't know if this story is um, as far as being cleared up and stuff, but it's been a lawsuit that females have been raped in there. The lawsuit said that there were eight Correction officer were involved in raping women in the prison on a regular basis, allegedly. And in one of the cases, one of the inmate even got pregnant. Anyway, I want to share this with you now. I want to share with you from the girl Pose, um, India Moore. And she's speaking out on Instagram about how it affects her and the fact that she wished that we were outcry the same way they did with Sandra Bland. When Sandra Bland got locked up, she ended up murdered. That she she suggested outcry, as well as I, as well as I, because something is definitely being covered up. Now there was cis woman that was that was raped, allegedly. Here is a, a trans woman that's that's now found dead, unresponsive. Anyway, I want to share this story with India Moore as she shared um, her views on this. Check this out. Let me see. All 368 people viewing this, I want to see y'all saying her name on social media. Black trans people are still black. Black trans women are black women. So I hope I see everybody who was mad and angry and sad and hurt to see what happened with Sandra Bland. I hope we see the same public outrage for Laylee, my sister, our sister. Let me see, all 368 people viewing this, I want to see y'all. Saying her name on social media. Oh, I says, rest in peace, my sister Laylene. Rest in peace. You know, of course, I'm going to do a follow-up story on this because they need to do a full investigation through the fact that I went to some research and stuff and found out a lot of things that's allegedly has been going on inside these facilities and stuff. And the lawsuits, according to the file back in 2015 in New York, helped enable an ongoing um, an abuse, rape, and several females inmates at Rose N. Singer Center in Rikers Island Prison. Now, I'm not saying she was raped or not, but I do believe they need to do a full investigation outside of the prison system. They need people from the FBI and people that out and cry in reference to this girl. We as a two-spirit trans world, we have to create an outcry when one of us is murdered and killed. 
We have to become soldiers for our sisters, our fallen sisters who have now been left on this earth, who has now left this earth without the reason of why. We want to know why she had to die. We want to know how she ended up dead. We want to know why is we the target. We want to know you know. We want to let you know that if you come after our sisters, we're going to come after you. We're going to make such a public outcry until you finally hear us. When it comes to the fact you become very f afraid to come after us because of the backlash. We have to send a message to social media that this is unacceptable for anyone to be murdered. But the thing about the matter is that we need answers. I'm not saying she was murdered. I just find it really strange how she just so happened to end up, end up dead. I'm responsive. And my personal opinion is she probably fought back. We need to see battle scars on her, under her nails. Was she was she a uh, handcuffed and raped? I'm just speculating. I'm not saying this is accurate. Are there bru bruises on her? Are you gonna hide her until the swelling goes down? We need a full investigation on what happened to her. We don't need her to be hit in a way until stuff heals or don't look as bad. But I guess once you, I don't know if you, I don't know if you heal once you've been. But they said the body still heals itself even after death. But we need to get the autopsy done in reference to the blunt force. We need an outside investigation of these of these of this girl's death. Cause basically what I'm seeing in reference to this lawsuit is states that there were more than just one person. And this is filed in 2015, which is only uh, four years ago. According to the survey, 5.9 of the female inmates at Rocket Island said that they were sexually assaulted by the prison staff. So something is right, not right here. Something is not right. So like I said before, I need y'all to share this video. I need y'all to be the foot runners. We have to create an outcry to let them know this is unacceptable for our sister to be dead. And she was a very young girl. June the 7th, 2019. She's not here no more. And we need to know why she needed to die. We want to know why. And I understand they're saying, well, she just was unresponsive. We want to know how she ended up unresponsive. Because she looks very healthy to me. She looks very healthy to me. So we didn't know how she just so happened to end up in in jail, dead, in a place that's known for doing stuff to women and lawsuits has been filed. We need to know why this young girl life was just beginning. And the lawsuit that says guards at Rikers Island are allowed to rate inmates with the consent from the city's officials. Allegedly, this is what it's stating. Anyway, like I said before, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you subscribe so this woman I get any information in reference to an update. You already know and be ready to come back and find out what else I found out and stuff. <sighs> it's going to be an investigation, but I'm going to tell you something. I really need y'all to be the foot runners because if nobody does anything, it'll go underneath the rub. So please... Let's create an outcry for this girl being murdered. And the sad part of it is, I've seen this little girl in New York. I've seen her. Very short, very beautiful. Anyway, rest in peace, my little sister. Rest in peace. Subscribe to my channel. Let you I love you. And thank you for watching, Kessery.